everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making Christmas horse treats um, for Bueno and other ponies. So what you need is a mixing bowl, some flour, and some molasses and a drop of water. So I'm just making some plain molasses treats. They will be decorated with a bit of icing. Don't worry, um, a tiny bit of icing is completely fine for our horses and ponies. Um, but anyway, let's get on with today's video. And it is a Christmas video. That's why I'm wearing this Christmas hat. I have also got some of these cookie cutters. So I've got like a Christmas star, um, a stocking and also a Christmas tree to design my cookies as. I've also got a big love heart and a small heart. So first I'm going to start with rolling my sleeves up because I do not want to get any mixture on my lovely BRC um, jumper. So I've got my bowl and I've got this three quarter cup. I'm just going to open my flour now and take out one cup and maybe two. I managed to get three quarter cups of flour in my bowl. So what I'm going to do now is fill up this jug with water and slowly pour it into my flour. So what I forgot to say is we do need a mixer to mix our mixture with. So I'll just grab one now and then I'll be Okay, so I've got a whisk now. I'm just going to slowly add in the water. In this jug, I've got about 400 milliliters. I'm just gonna slowly add it in and then mix it. Oh, without getting it everywhere. So with my um, icing, what I'm going to do is like, once the cookies are all done, I'm going to like decorate them. So I've got the white icing to go on some. I've also got these little colorful ones to do a bit of dots maybe or something. This water does not seem to be getting the flour up. Some more, oops, I've had a bit too much there. I will see you when this is all mixed. Okay, I've just had to add quite a bit more flour. I definitely did overdose with the water. I definitely did add way too much. Um, this is what my mixture's looking like now. We're not nowhere near having our mixture ready. So I'm just gonna add more flour. And now I'm going to go in with my hands. This is not going to be good. Ew. Ew. It's all gooey. What do I do? I have to add more flour to make it less gooey. Anyway, I'm just getting it off this and it's not coming off. So, it's a lot better than it was before. Um, it's less sticky, now I've added some more flour. Okay, I now have my dough mixture and I'm just going to add in the molasses now. Um, my hands will have to stay gooey because I will be going back in with my hands once I've added in the molasses. So. Just get as much of the dough off my hands as I can. There we go. These are my hands. Right, let's open the molasses. That'll probably be enough. We don't want too much. Just wipe it on the dough. My hands are going to be very sticky after this. So I know it probably won't look like I added 
that much in but I actually added a lot in like there's more at the bottom and yeah, I'll just do the folding technique I just fold it together as you can see it looks like chopped oh no I should have added the molasses in when I added the flour and water whoops does it matter I'm not sure um I will see you guys when this is mixed in and looking okay because this is gonna take me a long time I've just finished um, mixing up my dough. It's not too sticky anymore. It's quite stretchy. Yeah, so it's not sticky and it actually looks really light in the camera. It's not that light, it's quite dark. But all I'm going to do now is put some flour on my working area and then start rolling my dough out. So hopefully you can still hear me talking, but I'm just going to film this way around because it's a lot easier and then you guys can see what's happening so as you can see my dough is still very sticky i'm just going to flour the surface down just like this and then i put this down right i'm just going to grab a rolling pin and then i'll be back for my rolling pin I've actually just found out that it's a water fill up one. So when we're making pastries, you can actually fill it up with cold water to keep the pastry cold. Anyway, I'm just going to make sure it's not sticking. Yep, it's not sticking. And then I'll sprinkle some flour over the top, just like that. And then I can start rolling. Okay, so what I've got now is my baking tray with some baking paper in it. Um, I did do this off camera, but as you can see, it's here. So I'm just going to put this to one side. And I'm just going to cut uh, my, I can't think of the word now. Just going to cut my dough with some cookie cutters and place them. Um, in here i have actually got two other trays exactly like that done ready for them to go in because i think i will run out of room with the amount of mixture that i've got go with a stocking first i think that's quite a nice one to go with so i'll just place it on here cut it up and then i'm going to grab a spatula just so i can pick the shape up without breaking it or anything. Please don't break, please don't break. <laughs> please don't break. And here we have it. A amazing... It nearly fell off. Nope. Do we still have a thingy, do we? Do we, can I fix it? That'll do. So here we have our first stocking. I'll just place it in here. Let's make some more. Now I'm going to put my um, cookies in the oven 
I'll give you a quick show of what they look like now and then I'll do an after result once I've come out of the oven. Cookie tray one. This is cookie tray two and this is three. Okay guys, I did actually forget to film me taking them out of the oven and starting the decorating, but I have done most of the decorating. Um, so I'll just show you them now. I think they're looking quite so good. here we have it. A few of them are done. Um, so that's probably my favorite. These two need decorating. I might need to sort the icing out as well. And then here, you might be wondering what these are. These are just, I don't know. I kind of just use the leftover dough to make a ball, but I'll probably end up throwing these in the bin. So I'll just get them now. But yeah, here we are. And then I've got a couple more to finish and some which are over here. So I'll get them done and I'll show you once they're finished. So guys, I have now finally finished the cookies. They are all in the little bags that I've got. And it has actually taken a long time for me to make them, but I will show you them now. Um, yeah, so here they are. I've put them in this, these bags like these. They're all different colours and I've decorated all the different things. So here I have a Christmas tree and yeah, this is what it looks like. And there's also the two little heart cookies at the back and then the big one. I will show you them all together now because there are many different colours for the pouches. So here they are. There's one of my star designs, more Christmas trees, stars, stockings and then I for the stars in the black and white pouches I did like black and white black and white like as dot thank you so much everybody for watching today's video if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel also it is getting very close to Christmas so Merry Christmas everybody and I hope you have a wonderful time and goodbye <laughs>